Hi, I'm Jackie Lehman, member of the Stanley Arts Guild. Um, you're sitting on our screened-in porch down here in Norwood, North Carolina. Um, I first joined the Guild about 20 years ago when I moved down here feeling very lonesome, missing my friends, and picked up the Stanley News and Press. And there was an article in there about the uh, Stanley Art Skill. Margaret Sauls was, uh, I think there was a picture of her in there also. So I called the number and I told her I was interested in art and um, was she giving classes? And she said, you sure are. And they were being held at the Senior Center. So that started everything. I, I went to the Senior Center, met some wonderful people, and I'm still friends with all of them. Um, this is how you learn art, how you learn different mediums. Um, if you're doing something wrong, one of your artist friends will help you. Uh, otherwise, you wouldn't know what you were doing. Uh, up in Ohio, I took small classes. Uh, always was taking some classes, and I'll go way back and tell you that when I was in Ohio growing up, and my parents were trying to find something that I really wanted to do. Mother wanted me to be a ballerina, which I didn't want any part of. Uh, we tried that, almost got kicked out of the class. Um, Tap dancing, that didn't work. Piano playing really did not work. Got my fingers slapped. So um, I decided, you know, I think I like art. Well, those were the days when you could get on a bus by yourself at 10 or 12 years old. I, I, I can't believe I did that, but we did. Got on a bus at the end of the street, took it down to uh, the Cleveland Art Museum. And I can remember sitting by the big pond, at least it seemed very big to me at that time, and drawing the thinker statue. And I remember doing it, and I did it in purple. And I, sh I wish I had that picture today because it was a good picture. And then I would get back on the bus and go back home all by myself. Now today, you couldn't do that, which is sad. But um, when I was in uh, high school, of course, I took the classes I had to take, but every free period I had was in the art room. My girlfriend and I, and we would do all the posters for the football games, basketball games, anything we could do to get out of class and to do the art. Um, I had a wonderful art teacher, Mr. Keller, and I remember doing a good kind of a good oil picture and I was did not like it and I took it and I painted all over the thing and got a bad grade on that because I did that but um, so then when we moved up here I um, was so glad to find Margaret and we became very good friends in fact I bought her little car we bought her pontoon and um, Margaret has passed away. Margaret Nawson passed away a couple years ago, and we still miss them. She was a great asset to everybody. Just a fun, fun person. So being at the gallery now is it's like a big family. This is what it's all about. And we're still learning. Uh, we, I'm taking workshops, which are wonderful. Um, the picture I'm holding was a Patty Duncan workshop. Love this picture. It's an abstract. I don't know if I could do it again, but it, it was so much fun. Um, this other picture on the table was from Patty's uh, workshop. That's a oil, a, um, pastel oil, an oil pastel, I'm sorry. And um, this is an acrylic, which I like. And then I came home and tried this picture. This is an acrylic picture. And um, I kind of like it. It's the buoys that are down on our dock. And it was fun to do. Um, working with acrylics is a little bit different. I usually work with watercolor, and I thought that was difficult, and it is. Uh, I still really like watercolor, but it's fun to try different mediums. Um, I also like to do stained glass. 
I, I think I jump from one thing to another all the time, which is jack of all trades and master of none. That's me. But it's fun and, and that's okay. That's just the way I am. Living at the lake, there's never a dull moment. There's always work to do. Um, first you get your housework done and if it's summertime, I'm outside. We have a garden, a vegetable garden to keep up with. There's a lawn that Bill keeps trying to grow, but he always kills it. Um, there's always maintenance to do. There is just a lot of work, but uh, Bill and I enjoy it. We have our little boat. We had a, we had a bow rider. And we used it in Lake Erie when we were in Ohio and loved it. Of course, Lake Erie is totally different than Lake Tillery. And uh, when we came back down here, this lake was just smooth and nice. But our boat got old, found out that the, the floor of the boat was rotting, and about time to get rid of it. That's when we bought our little pontoon. And um, Bill has worked on it, cleaned it, and fixed it up. and and we enjoy that thoroughly. We go out, kids go out with us, go out pretty far where it's deeper and put our life jackets on and jump in. Uh, it's a little sh more shallow here where we are and uh, after being down here several years I realize what lives down in that water and I'd rather be out there where it's deeper and my feet never hit the bottom. Mm -mm, that's muddy, gooey, mm -mm, don't like it. There's turtles, there's snakes. That's one thing you have to get used to when you live down here are the snakes. We don't even care if we go on a vacation because all we have to do is go sit on the dock and we're on vacation. And, th and that's what it's like living at the lake. It truly is. Okay, I have a little workshop. Um, and it's not a studio, it is a workshop. Uh, I, I share it with my wash machine and my dryer. But that's fine. I have a little TV in the corner, and that keeps me company. Um, depending on what project I'm, I'm doing, if I'm doing stained glass, I'll stay in there and cut the glass. Uh, if I'm painting, sometimes I end up out here on the screen porch. Um, I end up, if I'm doing some hammering, I can go into Bill's workshop and really make a mess because it's already a mess, so it doesn't really matter. He doesn't care. We share that. Um, sometimes I'm upstairs working in the kitchen. I like, I like that. I can open the door. I like, I like to be able to see out. I don't like to be confined. My, my little area uh, with the washer and the dryer is a little confining, but uh, I get things done. And um, I... Um, I envy some of these people that have these real big workshops, but I probably am the type that would probably have it all cluttered and it would end up being small at the end anyway. So uh, I'm happy with what I do, and it's fine. And I like painting over at the gallery. And I like painting over at the senior center. They've been nice and letting us go in there and, and do our thing in there also. So, you know, there's no excuse. You can do your art, you just have to you just have to get motivated. You have to get more. And what's fun is you can get motivated when you have other people with you, other artists with you. That encourages you to do your work. Sometimes doing it by yourself at home, you get interruptions. And there's nobody there to encourage you sometimes. Um, and there's always housework to do. So my. My suggestion is, is find a, find a buddy, find a buddy and go paint with them.